All right, everybody. Oh, happy day. So in this video, I want to share with you what takes place and what you should do as in an insurance agent if you get hit with a chargeback or you get a letter in the mail or some nasty gram that may happen when you sell insurance, doing final expense, life insurance, Medicare insurance, it doesn't matter. Chargebacks will happen. How you respond to them will really depict how your credit is impacted, how your vector score is impacted by what you do next, okay? So I'm going to kind of shed some light on a topic that a lot of folks don't like talking about. So guess what? We're going to do it, all right? JasonFinalExpense.com before we get going. If you need help, reach out. I help a ton of agents with Medicare and Final Expense, life insurance. If you need help, you know where to find me. So you got a letter in the mail or you now have a negative chargeback because you sold a policy and guess what? It didn't stick and stay. All right, so this will happen to the best agent. This will happen to, okay, an agent that's not writing a lot of good quality business. But let me tell you, even the best insurance agent will get a nasty gram in the mail. Or you're going to get an email saying, hey, you've got a negative commission balance. Either start submitting some more business or bad things are going to happen. All right, don't be afraid of it. Don't ignore it, okay, by any means. Do not ignore it, whatever you do. So the first tip I wanna share with you when you have a negative commission or a charge back, do not ignore it, okay? It's not a scary thing if you just handle it a certain way, all right? So what I want you to do when you get a charge back is call the company. Do not ignore this thing. It'll become a major problem if you do. So if you get a negative charge back, a quick way to remedy it is to just write a bunch more business, okay? Write a bunch more business. If you got 10 potatoes in your potato truck and one fall off via a chargeback, you don't stop the momentum, you don't stop your truck to go chase that one potato that fell out, the one sale that went sideways out of the 10 that you wrote, okay? But let me tell you, you do need to pay a little bit of attention if you start getting, okay, into a position where you don't have enough positive business okay, to offset some of the negative business that maybe is happening to you. So if you get a letter in the mail, first off, never, never ignore it. Make a phone call to the insurance company right away. Some of the verbiage that may take place, I'm going to read you a real letter, <laughs> okay, that happens to insurance agents, okay? Unless we receive payment from you immediately, blankety blank contract will be changed to terminated for cause. Y'all hearing this language? It's the truth. Okay, don't ignore this stuff. That's what I'm saying. When you get a negative chargeback or a negative account balance, don't worry, it's fine. Go submit more business. Don't ignore them. Okay, maybe you're writing a different insurance carrier right now. There's ways to fix this. I'm going to share that with you in a second, but I'll continue reading this. Okay, what's going to take place? Your contract will be changed to terminated for cause, which means you will lose vested commissions. You want to lose that? Nobody does, right? Okay, the for cause termination will be reported to the Department of Insurance as applicable. You don't want this ever, okay? And you will be reported to Vector 1. This is like bad credit, okay? It's not good as an insurance agent. Do not let yourself get reported to Vector 1. Don't let this take place. When you have negative, okay, commissions, negative chargebacks that take place, just don't ignore them. A real quick way, it's just unpaid debt. They fronted you like a loan commission. So if you owe it back, pay it back if you can in full. But if you can't, these companies do understand. Don't ignore them. Just make a phone call. And a lot of these companies are like, oh, you owe us like 800 bucks. Awesome. How about you pay us 100 bucks a month until it's all gone? Or how about you pay us you know, 150 bucks a month until it's taken care of. And it'll satisfy the insurance company and keep, okay, that problem, okay, of getting reported to Vector, okay, having negative credit or the worst thing on the planet is getting a four-cause termination because you just had a small little chargeback that you ignored, okay? Don't ignore negative. Don't ignore debt. Don't ignore chargeback. It's, it's not that scary if you just take the bull by the horns and get it done. Make a phone call. I know nobody wants to make a negative phone call, okay? But just get it done, okay? Make a phone call to the carrier. Say, hey, sorry, I'll try to write some business this month. If I don't, hey, you know, you want my credit card? I'll, I'll pay you back. Or, hey, here's my checking. Let me just wash it away, okay? And it'll be okay. Take care of your debt. It's a responsible part of being an insurance agent. Now, 
if you're writing a bunch of negative debt, then maybe you want to focus on how to maybe write better business if you can, use some better techniques, or really warm down, get to under the hood of why your client's purchasing, okay, from you, and really cement that in. Sometimes clients don't even mean, okay, to lapse their policies. Sometimes you can remedy this with some simple techniques that I can share with you, okay, on how to reach out to a consumer to make sure they understand that, they lost their policy for the time being, but you're going to help them get it back, okay? You get it back on the books, guess what happens to that chargeback? Poof! You're back in a cash flow positive, and that's where you want to be, cash flow positive as an insurance agent. But don't let, okay, a chargeback demoralize you. Don't let it degrade your energy that you need to move forward. This is all about taking care of the client's needs, okay? Getting a hold of leads, meeting their needs, and providing value to them. But chargebacks will take place, okay? Now, a bad agent, okay, or an agent that isn't as skilled is going to have a lot of chargebacks. They just will, and it's going to be like, oof, this is no good. An agent that is just really like pushing the envelope, okay, playing the comp game, trying to get the most commission possible, and guess what? The clients, the prospects can't really afford it. You're going to be dealing with a lot of letters, let me tell you. You're going to get a lot of negative chargeback debt if you're selling that way, and that's not okay, that's not what you want. So to mitigate chargeback risk, sell the right way. Make sure you're using proven power scripts, proven platforms to mitigate, okay, your chargeback exposure. But let me tell you, everybody, it's going to happen. Nobody wants to talk about this to you because guess what? They want to give you the rah-rah talk, okay? Rainbows and unicorns and piles of money. Put your feet on your desk. Buy this special program. You don't even have to work much. And wow, your checking account is just going to explode. Well, let me tell you, you have to be intentional. That's not the truth. You're getting lied to, okay? You're getting sold a bill of goods. You're getting sold some software. That's what is going on, okay? There is no substitute in the business, never has been, never will be, to just hustle muscle, reaching out and making connections with your consumer. You have to work, okay? You do have to work. Insurance is not a lazy man's business. It's not. It's the absolute best paying hard work anywhere, but it's not lazy work, okay? You can't be an insurance agent and be lazy. You're not going to make good money. It's going to hurt you just being real with you, okay? But you've got to be really engaged in your business, okay? Focus on the most important thing, and that's income-producing activities. You work on getting, okay, those sales taken care of every week. Don't be demoralized when you get a letter in the mail or you get an email saying one of the clients went bonk, okay? Don't be afraid of it. A lot of times your clients don't even know that it went bonk, okay? They just don't pay attention sometimes to the mail. So make that phone call. Take the bull by the horns, but do it in a positive way when you talk to your consumer because your mind is going to be a little negative. You're going to be like, oh, man, this is no good. Uh, uh, I got a couple hundred dollars in chargebacks. Well, guess what? Okay, push forward. You're going to be fine. Sell a bunch of insurance that week. And that tiny little chargeback is not going to hurt you. It's going to be a whole lot of nothing. It will be insignificant if you're focused on the right path. So when a chargeback comes, and it will to the best agent and to the most pushy agent that's getting a lot of chargebacks, okay? Let me tell you, all you got to do is just acknowledge it, okay? Acknowledge it. Handle it with all that's in you. No big deal. Don't let it bum your day out, okay? Call the company, say, I got it. How can I remedy this? Can I make some, can I set up a payment plan with you if you don't have the money? If you have the money, just pay it off and be done with it. And then drive yourself with forward momentum, high action, okay? And just go get new business. It'll remedy the problem. You'll feel better because the best, okay, feeling on the planet, okay, is to make another sale to meet another need. The worst feeling on the planet is to read negative letters and negative emails about, oh, the one client or the two clients out of 20 that went sideways on you. Don't let this impact your attitude. Don't let this impact your actions, okay? Don't let this change your purpose, okay, in anything you do, in anything that you say. Chargebacks will come. Use the best techniques on the planet. When they do, address it right away. Reach out to your consumer in positive ways. Make sure that you've got, okay, your sentence structures and technique proper so that you can get that business back on the books so that you don't even have to deal with the chargeback yourself 
because the business is now back where it should be. But let me tell you, don't be afraid of it. It's fine. But don't ignore it. If you ignore it, okay, the negative Nelly of, uh, let's see, being terminated for cause, no thank you. Um, the negative Nelly of uh, losing vested commissions, um, no thank you. Um, the negative Nelly of uh, being reported to the insurance commissioner or vector one um, because your contract got terminated for cause. Be true, okay, to what we do. When you've been advanced money that you didn't fully earn, just handle it. That's the responsible thing to do. When you do that, you're going to be fine. Focus forward, though, okay? When this negative happens, get your mind right, get your action right, and then have your technique proper so that you push forward, push forward with high action, and guess what? You won't even care. You won't even care that the two little, okay, chargebacks or reversals, okay, took place because you've got so much more new business on the books and you're plowing forward, okay? The quickest way to make yourself feel better, the quickest way to resolve, okay, a negative, like a small chargeback, is to go right new business. The moment that you lose momentum, the moment you stop the pickup truck, put it in park and go chase one potato, when you've got eight or nine potatoes on the truck, you lost momentum and now it's gonna take you so much more work, so much more intensity in your emotions and the actions that should be following, okay, as a result, it's going to take you a lot more work to get back to where you should be, and that's going to compound your problem. And the last thing you need is compounded problems. You need to be creative. You need to be skilled in the mind, skilled in your methods, and have massive levels of forward momentum. Have lots of conversations. Meet lots of needs. And when these little things happen where you get a charge back here or a charge back there, that's okay. That's why when you're dealing with credit card business, debit card business, as a final expense or a Medicare insurance agent, a lot of these companies will pay you as earned. So at least you get paid, and if they don't pay, it's not a chargeback. Who cares? But if you get a nine-month advance or a 75% advance, and they don't keep it for the full 12 months, okay, or the first nine months, then, okay, the remainder of the months, they charge you back on. whoopee de doo da At least you got paid, okay? So what? That money wasn't truthfully ours anyway, right? But use those, okay, techniques of the mind in purpose and action to not let it hold you down. Let it propel you forward. Keep doing the good work. Keep taking care of great people because they need you. But make sure that when you have this temporary disruption of an email of a chargeback or some negative debt with one company who, okay, la, 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 white noise like Charlie Brown's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. Don't ignore the wah, 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 wah. Don't do that. Call the insurance company. Email them back. How can I pay you guys back? Can I set up a payment plan? Is that cool? If not, if you've got the financial ability, just write them a check and be done with it. Or, better yet, go write a bunch more business to take care of the negative debt right away. And guess what? The insurance company is going to be happy with you. No negative vector. No termination for cause. You're happy as a lark. You're getting it done. And you are now enjoying the career that you want to be in. Have a good one, you guys. I hope this helps. I know it's a negative topic, right? But as long as you know that it's going to be okay, it's not that scary either way. Have a good one, you guys. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, okay? Tomorrow's a coming. Are you relaxing? Are you ready? Here I am. I'm still working, but guess what? I'm ready for tomorrow. Be successful. Be great. I appreciate you guys. Hope this helps, guys. Bye-bye.